everyone. This is Bill Griffin. Welcome to Different Take Podcast. If you like this content, please subscribe, like, share, comment. I really appreciate you watching. New episodes Tuesdays and Thursdays. I don't uh, look at uh, social media very often, and uh, I, but I stumbled upon something on Charlie Crist's Facebook page that I want to share. Uh, Charlie Crist is a Democrat running for governor against Ron DeSantis in Florida. Before I share the post, uh, I'd like to sort of introduce you to Charlie Crist. So this is a video of him in an interview on CNN. This is August 28, 2022. Again, let me just ask you, um, what do you think about the president calling millions of Americans semi-fascist? Listen, he's got to express and be honest about what he feels in his heart and his soul. And I think that's probably exactly what he did. So Charlie Crist, former governor, a Republican governor. So I guess he is a reformed semi-fascist because he's calling many Republican voters. He's fine with Joe Biden calling them semi-fascists, but it gets worse. Uh, Charlie Crist is a professional politician. I think that's pretty much all he's done. Uh, most of his vast majority of his adult life, and uh, he looks and sounds like a professional politician. So this is what he is posted on his Facebook page. It says uh, August 24th, Charlie Chris, late. Let's make history, Florida. Defeat fascism. Defeat DeSantis. So he does an interview four days later on CNN says it's okay for Joe Biden to call voters semi-fascists, but now he's calling DeSantis a fascist. So instead of him just saying, yeah, I agree with him, he says, oh, it's, it's okay for Joe Biden. Or maybe he did do that, but uh, obviously he has no problem. And this is something uh, that uh, Charlie Crist, who's now a Democrat, has no problem with, along with many political commentators, that you see talking heads on television. I did a, an episode on the left-right political spectrum. I want to talk about this a little bit, talk about the definition of fascism. Uh, it's actually the first episode I did on this channel. Charlie Crist is not doing well in the polls. They'll show him down. Very popular governor. If you read the Facebook post, on both Ron DeSantis page and Charlie Chris page, it is very weighted, highly weighted towards positivity for Char uh, Ron DeSantis and pretty negative toward Charlie Chris if they talk about him at all. But this is something that the the left loves to do, not all, but many people on the left they want to paint people on the on the right, an American right. Talking about American left, American right, political spectrum, which is, I don't know why that would be different around the world, and that's what I'm going to get to, but, or in history. But they love to call uh, Republicans fascists because, well, the next step is that you're Nazis, or if you're an individual, you're um, equivalent to Hitler. The worst thing you get called. So they say they can gain votes. Kind of smacks of desperation to me, that Charlie Chris would do this. But here's a definition for fascism. Fascism is a far-right, author, authoritarian, authoritarian, ultra-nationalist political ideology and movement characterized by a dictatorial leader, centralized autocracy, militarism, forcible suppression of opposition, belief in a natural social hierarchy, subordination of individual interests for the perceived good of the nation and race and strong regimentation of society and the economy. Okay, the last part of that, strong regimentation of society and the economy. It's a, it is called a far right. So Wikipedia is saying, hey, this is far right. We'll get to that in a second. But then it's a strong regimentation of society and the economy. Is that what Ron DeSantis stands for? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, Ron DeSantis is talking about less government. 
the folks on the left would say, oh, no, 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 no. Look at where, where he stands on abortion. Well, there is around the world a recognition that an aboard child would have legal rights at some point in time. I'm not going to go through every single part of this and refute it. It's boring. Uh, Ron DeSantis is not a di dictatorial leader. There's no militarism. There's no forcible suppression of opposition. This is all, it's just strange that it's called far right. But there you have it. It is far right. Okay, let's go to uh, the definition of left wing. Left wing, yeah, left wing politics describes the range of political ideologies that support and seek to achieve social equality and egalitarianism, often in op opposition to social hierarchy. So you see this word in all three of these definitions. Social hierarchy could, it's a very vague term that can be applied to both left and right, according to Wikipedia. I'll go on. Left-wing politics typically involve a concern for those in society whom its inheritance perceive as disadvantaged relative to others, as well as the belief that there are unjustified inequalities that need to be reduced or abolished. That's all in the that's all in the eye of the beholder, or whatever wherever you stand. According to Emeritus Professor of Economics Barry Clark, left-wing supporters claim that human development flourishes when individuals engage in cooperative, mutually respectful relations that can thrive only when excessive differences in status, power, and wealth are eliminated. So Stalin is considered left-wing. You'll see that uh, a little further. So this is uh, a little farther down the page under left-wing definition. Since the term left was to used to describe liberalism in the United States and republicanism in France, supporting a lesser degree of hierarchical decision-making than the right-wing politics of the traditional conservatives and monarchists. In modern politics, the term left typically applies to ideologies and movements to the left of classical liberalism, supporting some degree of democracy in the economic sphere. Today, ideologies such as social liberalism, are considered to be center-left, while the left, italicized, the left is typically reserved for anti-capitalist movements, namely socialism, including anarchism, communism, the labor movement, Marxism, social democracy, and syndicalism, each of which rose to prominence in the 19th and 20th centuries. So, the thing that's omitted there is fascism. So, the idea here is that fascism is somehow not anti-capitalist. Okay, let's go to the definition for right-wing. So, this definition from Wikipedia on right-wing politics, generally characterized by the view that certain social orders and hierarchies are inevitable, natural, normal, or desirable, typically supporting this position on the basis of natural law, economics, authority, or tradition. Hierarchy and inequality may be seen as natural results of traditional social differences or competition in market economies. Right-wing politics are considered the counterpart to left-wing politics, and the left-right political spectrum is one of the most widely accepted political spectrums. It's actually the, the, really the only thing that's used to graphically represent. I'll get back to that. The term right-wing can generally refer to the section of a political party or system that advocates free enterprise and private ownership and typically favors socially traditional ideas. The right includes social conservatives and fiscal conservatives, while a minority of right-wing movements such as fascists harbor anti-capitalist sentiments. The right also includes certain groups who are socially liberal and fiscally laissez-faire, such as right-wing libertarians. So, how confusing is all this? And it's on Wikipedia, and people are being indoctrinated in this sort of idea that you have, for example, left or American politics, you have, let's say, Charlie Crist is here. This is left. 
I'm not sure how the camera's pointing, but this is my left hand. Charlie Crist is here. Ron DeSantis is, let's put him here. So Stalin is way over here. But somehow we put fascism way over there. You read the definition. Nazi Germany was very anti-capitalist. Very anti-capitalist. They did not believe. They wanted to control the economy in every aspect of society. This isn't complicated. It's very militaristic. They would impose their will by force. Soviet Union, far left, same deal. Same deal. So these governments, very similar. Their ideologies were very similar. Yes. Hitler railed against communism as his practice in the Soviet Union. They're competitors. They're competitors. This idea that Charlie Crist is going to, and the left, and Joe Biden is going to keep calling people fascist, it, it, nobody's going to buy this. If you study history at all, this makes zero sense, zero logic. You can, according to the definitions there, the definitions are really, it's really weird to put fascism in right wing, but they're out is the words in each of those definitions, social hierarchy. That's a very vague term. It can be applied to left, it can be applied to right, as the world describes left and right. The key differences are whether you, have a capitalist economy, free market economy, or the government controls the means of production. In the Soviet Union, they owned the means of, of production. In Nazi Germany, they controlled the means of production. I don't think this is going to work out for Charlie Crist. He, he looks uh, very foolish. Joe Biden looks very foolish calling voters fascist because that's you don't you don't trash the people that you want to vote for you there's no there's no call for for him to do this you can see if you go through the definition Ron DeSantis doesn't meet any of the criteria according to Wikipedia now if you think he does on uh, on certain issues let me know I'm not buying it the abortion thing I've talked about. Um, so that's my episode today. I think Charlie Crist is really showing a lack of self-respect on his part and certainly insults the intelligence of most people. So I really appreciate you watching. If you like this content, please subscribe, like, share, comment. really appreciate you watching. Thank you very much.